If I don't like seeing with this deck, it's beatable, it's just so hard. Okay, never mind. Take it all back. Let's use it. Or Grixis. Could be Grixis. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back. Aeneas here. Uh, today, we're playing some more standard ranked, and uh, pretty much the format has been settled, but the biggest contenders in best of one are still the aggro decks mono white mono red uh really picked up in in popularity after the meat hook massacre got banned and uh black is still around but it's not as prevalent so i made a few tweaks to the deck to try to help out um and so this is the post ban esper list but with updates and probably even needs still a few more tweaks to it to make it a little bit lower on the curve deal with aggro a little bit better but so far i've added one celestis here and i added two paths of peril here uh to try to help more in the early game i also took out one shadow prophecy and um, i've uh, i think in the last video i also had added an extra watering emperor to give you a little bit more life gain um so uh basically the point of the deck is uh you get these land cards that have three different types that empowers a lot of your domain cards like Leyline Binding, Joe's Codex, um, Shadow Prophecy, Drag to the Bottom. Uh, all of these get super powerful effects and it also makes it so that you can play Archangel Wrath and usually be able to pay for both of the kicker costs, uh, which is very nice. And then um, we just have other powerful cards like Wandering Emperor, Invoke Despair, um, and Farewell and things like that. So uh, it's just a very nice control list that um, makes good use of these domain cards. Um, one thing I had found is sometimes um, I wasn't able to get this as cheap as I would have liked. Uh, basically, if you can get this for around two mana, it's good enough against aggro, but if it's stuck at three mana in your hand, it's a little bit bad. So um, I decided to uh, diversify the mana base a little bit. It is going to hurt me in some other ways because I removed uh, two black sources essentially. But I think the fact that this has uh, the green and the blue means that, um, you know, sometimes it's going to be better off um, if you can get like Rafine plus Asparas or I don't know if Rafine, Xander, Spara is going to get you all your colors. Whereas before you kind of had to get. Uh, Rafine plus the Atora to have the whole color package. So, um, yeah, maybe this could be even the other, the other land, the, um, I forget the name of it, but the other tri land. Uh, so I might have to play around with that and see if we should switch that up. But I, I kind of liked the white blue land because we do have some blue spells and I think it would make it easier to cast, uh, those two as well if I had a blue source, but we'll see. Uh, maybe this should be uh, maybe this should be white, green, red, Triland and uh, the Naya Triland. Uh, but yeah, let's try it out and see and see how we do on the ladder and hopefully everything goes well. Uh, it's been doing very well for me uh, continually on the ladder before, so with these tweaks, I'm hoping the aggro matchup gets a little bit better. Yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the games. Right, so we got a planes only. Go first. I really want to keep this. I'm gonna keep it. We just need one other land of any color, and this is a great land. So I'm gonna try it. Could regret it. Okay. Woo! Dash bullet there. We got the Xander Lounge. Now our drag is actually super great. Prophecy is good. Oh, we should be in a good spot here. Against Mono White. Alright, we'll play. What am I going to play? It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm playing this. And then we can Shadow Prophecy. Unless they get Dahlia. I 
Ik heb Thalia. Hoi. Dat is wel. Ik zet ook nog Thalia. Oké, we zijn in 4 hier. Ik bedoel, plus 2 met de Shadow Boxy, ik denk. Alright, that's not Thalia. Alright. So that's good for us. We can clear this board up. That's great. That is also pretty good. Uh, yeah, maybe we could have taken one of those lands, but I think we're sitting pretty right now. We take... Shit. Shit. Oh. Oh yeah, it's double black. Okay, so we're taking one here. All right, all right, no big deal. We clear this board. Even though they have indestructible, it will minus X plus X. We get around that. And we have another one for when they reload after this. Should be good for that too. Oh no. Well, yeah, that's how you learn. Make a mistake and then next time, next time you know, it doesn't work. Alright, play the lands. We're still missing one color, it seems. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna Emperor here, probably. I can actually just make a 2-2 to block this. Another adversary. Sell it. I'm not overconfident. You're just a little <laughs> You are not much of a great. Uh, I don't think I need to kill this because I can find another turn. And I have Void Rand if I need it. Where is that going? Safe. Sarah Paragon. Oh, they're gonna play stuff, right? Hmm. All right. So maybe I will farewell then. Let's go ahead and draw here. Joda and Voidrand. Creatures in graveyards. And I, that should be the game. Adeline does not scare me. But this person is not scared. I'm not convinced it's over. But I can assure you, this game is. against the aggro. That is good. That's what we were hoping for. So uh, let's go to the next game. Okay. Um, we go first. The lands are all tapped. Uh, we're missing white. We're doing the Celestis. I think this is okay. I'm thinking we'll get the Celestis. Well, it's not even guaranteed that we'll get it on three, but I'm hoping we get it on three. <laughs> And then we can start to fix our hand a little bit. Or they're gonna conceal the curtain away our Celestis. And we'll just be stuck with a bunch of things we can't flush. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. We got it. Nice. Alright. So we play this on three. 
Man, those lands are so cool. I really like those lands. But they're so dang expensive. Dang. Alright. Yeah, a lot of ores up on the ladder today. I don't know what's going on. Alright, I assume the Soren is gonna go. No, they chose the Emperor instead. Interesting. Uh, I guess we'll do this. Because there's too many of the same color land. Uh, we can Warren and plus. Yeah, because this will only will do three to my sword. Consider yourself fortunate. We take four, but I guess it's fine. Nothing on any Maybe they're gonna invoke us on turn five, which maybe I should put a stop here. No game, but don't screw me here. Uh, so do I bind this? Before I take damage? I can't wander an Emperor. I could invoke- so if I take 2, I'll go to 12, and then I invoke Despair, and then I take 6, because I didn't kill a shield. No, I think I have to find that shield red, so let's just do it now. And hope, perhaps, that I draw an untapped land, yeah. Nice. So then I can make a vampire with this sword. Play this one and plus it. But they could still invoke to spare me, and it will be a very sad person. Put down. Okay, I guess they're not invoked to spare me. Do I want to draw this card? I kind of have double white. Oh, sure. I think they have any way to get rid of my Celestis. It's not that I'm aware of. I should have used the Emperor instead. Liliana! It's part of what I was worried about. Okay! That plays right into my Invoke Despair then, so that's not too bad. So let's just cast this. If I play that Spara, it's actually my Leyline will cost thing one. Which is great. Now I can cast that as well. Okay, I think then now we're doing pretty peach keen here. Uh, I could even exile this if I want to. Do I want to? And they don't draw a card, and they can't keep casting it. Seems pretty good to me. And we can even pass here and cycle our Celestis away. Nice. That's really good. So they can't invoke us anymore. 
So yeah, good. Anyone who harms my people got to me. Okay, this is a great hand. Uh let's make another token actually. Probably should have attacked first. We must protect oh, he's they might have their own member. I wonder if I care about that. Um, do I want to cast this angel? The only thing I have to worry about is the sweeper, but I have a counter spell. I think there's no reason to use it now. I'll just wait. I mean, the reason would be to put pressure on her. But I think they get another planeswalker or something. I guess that's fine. I have another one. I want to save this negate for a despair, or maybe they're wondering if we're. This puts them on a two turn clock, so I kind of like this. Alright. That's still fine. But I can, I can still, I can angel here, and then they'll still be on a two turn clock. And I, like I said, I have the gate up, so we should do pretty good. I guess if I negated that and they didn't have a second removal, they would have. No, 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 because they took two from the Oh! They'll take two from this, so I guess it's fine. They're at one. Not much they can do about that. Especially if I counter that. And we win! Nice! All right, all right. So we beat the aggro, we beat the mono black. Looking good. And I just have to wonder if it can beat mono red still. That is the, one of the tricky matchups from before that I'm trying to beat with the new additions. So, yeah, let's see. All right, on to the next game. Okay, uh, this hand is good against aggro, but not much else. Uh, but I think we can try it. It might be fine against Mono Black. We go second though. That's the downside on that. Oh, Mono Blue. No, please, not Mono Blue. This is the one matchup I don't like seeing with this deck. It's beatable, it's just so hard. Okay, never mind. Take it all back. Let's use it. Or Grixis. Could be Grixis. Ah, man. Okay. I guess we play this, and then next turn we'll go for the Celestis. Maybe it is still like mono blue, but they just splash a little bit of red for who knows what. So are they gonna counter my Celestis here? No, no counter spell at all. Interesting, interesting. What could this be? Um, I played a few that is a dex that were like geared towards the gear hol the holebreaker horror. So maybe they're ramping the holebreaker horror here. So in that case, I mean, I can't, I don't really get to do anything anyway. So I could play this tap. And maybe cycle that one. I can also just play the Emperor now. Alright, six. I'll just do it at the end of the turn, I think. 
Yeah, let's do that. All right, I don't need two codecs, so let's get rid of one. I bet there's a full breaker in Kevin, so anyway, let's see what happens. They have something. Feels there's a stick here. I don't know why though. I am the Emperor of Kamigo, and I will protect my people. Keep watch for intruders. Alright, we got our last color. That's nice. See, I don't think I want to play the codex here, just in case they encounter it. Maybe I can cycle or play the Emperor. I really feel like they're gonna play a horror, either here or at the end of the turn or something. Could be wrong. Maybe they maybe they're gonna wait. Okay. That's fine, I mean we have the Emperor down, We're, we've got the advantage. Cycle this. Alright, another land. It's fine. The plus one. We're gonna kill it, I guess. That's fine. And for two, they still have. Exactly seven and up. I could probably play the codex here. It's kind of safe. I have two open in case they do counter it. Bouncing my codex. Okay, man, are you ready to go? I'm ready to go. Now, to break this doesn't problem. really do anything, but okay. Hmm. Weird, weird place. So, do they just have nothing in hand, or are they just too scared? They don't want to drop the whole breaker yet until they have like ten mana or something. Wait, did I? I didn't miss a trigger for the emperor, right? No, that's just, they just play blast stream. Okay. I swear I'm not tripping you. <laughs> Could I go for the same play? I mean, it seemed like they didn't have an answer last time. I don't know. Could also soar. Make a vampire. Uh, I think the only way they get out of this is a, like a sweeper. I don't want to play too much into their sweeper, so let's go with this. Because uh, red has the uh, like five damage to creatures and planeswalkers. So, all right, so there's the horror. No doubt some of the expressions Mr. Romo is just you. Let's examine some. So they must have some sort of uh, spell here. If I had drawn another ley line, then it, I would have made a mistake there, but so I think it's fine. Alright, we can... I think 
think we should do this action. This only does minus six, minus six, so it actually won't kill the little breaker. So let's just get rid of that. We have two more water ampers to get rid of it if we need to. They're at eight mana. I wonder if they're gonna play it again. Bring down. Okay. Well, I guess not. Uh, okay, they surrendered. I guess their hand must suck. They feel like us having a huge grip was good enough. All right, cool. Well, that's yeah, three wins. Uh, let's do the post game wrap up. I'll see you in a bit. All right, well, that's it for the games today. Uh, just had basically those three games and uh, one that I forget failed to record. Um, made a couple of tweaks since the uh since the intro video just uh, tuning the lands a little bit so uh i added a sunlit marsh and a uh let's see what is it a xander's lounge basically uh i felt like there were too many pain lands a lot of times i ended up paying uh you know like three or four life from one of my pain lands and i ended up losing to just a tiny margin um, so I, I kind of felt like, especially with more aggro in the meta, it just makes sense to have a little bit less of the pain lands, a little bit more of the tap lands. Uh, cause really I just need to survive until I can either get one of my sweepers. So either path of peril or drag to the bottom and yeah, just not having those pain lands. is going to mean I survive more often than not. So yeah, tried that out. And it also fixes the other issue, which you sometimes have where, you find yourself uh, with like a shadow prophecy, but no um, land sources or drag to the bottom and no land sources. Uh, not doesn't happen often with 12 different sources of mana types, but uh, adding the two extra in there. Um, and plus now this, this version of the deck has two basic lands. So uh, we end up having 16 sources of land, uh, basic land types which uh, basically makes sure you never have a uh, a chance to, to not have a type. So yeah, I think that makes it more consistent. Haven't really run into issues where I have trouble casting anything. So I think we're still good on that. Uh, but yeah, the Path of Perils uh, seem pretty good against Mono White. I want to try them against Mono Red at some point. So I'll probably keep playing this on the ladder, try to finish the grind up to Mythic uh, before the end of the month. This month's been crazy for me, so that's why I'm a little bit behind, but um, plus nothing that new in this uh, in this month. But uh, yeah, I still love the deck. Control is always my favorite, and this is a solid, solid list. Always at least 70% win rate, uh, so give it a shot. Get out there, have some fun. Um, and probably next video, we might either check out Historic or... Uh, maybe we'll finish up that standard event with the mono white list that we had before. Uh, but either way, have fun, and until next time, see ya!